You're gonna want to plug your nose, people. Truly RV moment right here. The, the scary part actually isn't the cap. It's pulling the lever. Oh, oh no, do you gotta open the lever? Yeah, because I gotta take this whole lever out. What's up, Dykes fam? What's up? We hope you guys are doing awesome today. Dykes kids, how you doing? Great! Welcome to the beautiful state of... South Carolina! Yeah! That's right, we are officially in South Carolina. And where are we at today, Mom? Well, our first stop is Adesto State Park. It's actually a beautiful beach campground right on the ocean. That's right, check out these beautiful trees behind us. We got the motorhome set up over here. And then we got a little bit of a swamp marsh back there. Alligator marsh. What? It's an alligator marsh. Look out for the gators. <laughs> and snakes. And snakes. Yeah, especially and welcome to nature. Bondi. But before we can enjoy this beautiful park today, there's one thing that has to be done. And it ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> You're right, it's a crappy job, but someone's got to do it. Who broke the pooper? <laughs> so we recently found out that our black tank is AKA leaking. AKA where everything from the toilet goes into, yeah. it's leaking. We've narrowed it down to the sill, <laughs> we hope, fingers crossed. So dad gets to replace the sill that keeps everybody's crap in one place. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it sounds easy to replace that, but in order to do that, we have to undo everything, and though, I don't know, I'm so glad that I have a wonderful husband. That's Let's just put it this way. I'm just hoping it doesn't spray all over me. <laughs> I drained the tank, but you have to take off the old sill like and put this inside. new one in. Yeah, but don't worry. Sludge, I'll be recording in poop, case anything pee, comes gonna spraying be out. <laughs> Let me show you guys where what I have to do exactly. I've got to take this lever out, which this is connected to the black tank. This keeps all of our duty inside. And then this is how we flush it. We pull this handle with a tube attached to a sewer tank. So I've got to replace this with this new thing. Fingers crossed. Rosie, do you want to do it? You don't want to do it? You want to do it. <laughs> Razzy's getting his tool practice in. Are you helping daddy? Yeah. You helping learn how to fix things? Oh, I break this part. Oh, you're, break, you're breaking things instead of fixing them? <laughs> that works too. Hey, daddy's got his rubber gloves on. We got a bucket to catch the crap. I think I should put like three pairs of rubber gloves on. Are you sure you're ready for this? No. So what I first noticed is that when I took this bottom cap off, there was liquid in it. And there's probably gonna be a little bit of liquid, but I got a bucket to put underneath it in case some sludge, AKA poop pee and other stuff comes out in it. We tried to dry it out the best we could, but there's just... There's just no guarantees in life. <laughs> Problem number one, the hole underneath there, it doesn't even line up with the tank. It's a little bit lopsided, so if we just take it off, it won't drip down there. Problem number two, we have like this thing duct taped up because for some reason, this RV has like all of these hookups right behind the door so that you can't put the door up. These are RV life problems, right? Yeah. What we found that is that when they build these motorhomes, they build them really good. But then when you start driving and you hit a couple potholes, it's like the entire thing like shifts like that. <laughs> and then everything is offset by a little bit, which is a big deal. RV life is not for the faint of heart. Okay, here I'm going. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed that no poop comes out when dad takes his cap <laughs> off, because that's what's happened the last week. Yeah. <laughs> and today's our no. first sunny day. No. Fingers crossed if anything does come out, it doesn't spray in my face. <laughs> Or on you guys watching. Oh, yeah, there's some. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, he's opening it up. Tayden. Tayden, hurry. Oh, no. Here comes the poop juice. Oh, that's not pleasant. Oh, the smell. Hurry, Tayden, the smell. Yeah. You guys got to come and look. Tay, you're going to want to plug your nose, people. Truly RV moment right here. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, no. Oh, man. I thought we drained it, guys. Don't get too close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> William, I wouldn't stick your face in there, bro. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is all your kids' crap, anyways. Get yeah, back up. Everybody run! It's coming out! The, the scary part actually isn't the cap, it's pulling the lever. Oh, oh no, do you gotta open the lever? Yeah, because I gotta take this whole lever out. So we've gotta pull this lever and make sure there's no water in there so that Josh can undo all of this because oh. it's just gonna all come pouring oh. out. Oh, it smells like manure. It smells like what? Manure. That's McCoy manure, actually. Oh, do you think? <laughs> so I don't know if I dare to. Do it. I'm just like, it's like. <laughs> oh my gosh! RV! RV! Watch oh, out, watch RV. out! Stop! Tayden, what movie is this like? RV. What happens in that movie? The poop flies everywhere. <laughs> no. Oh, camera! Oh! Ah! I'm not ripped. Oh my god, that's the ah! <laughs> There's more! There's more! Guys, I cannot breathe through my nose, so I can't even smell it. You're just sucking it in your mouth then? Oh. How does it smell, Roz? It smells so stinky. <laughs> it smells so but the stinky. First one, it smells like it went through holes. It's on my hands. Ah! He's out of here. I, 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 He's got, I went. You want me to touch that no, lightsaber? No. Hey, that actually would be a smart lightsaber to have. One that's got poop on it. Ain't no one gonna want to get killed by one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad, get to work. You're doing awesome. We're gonna stand here and scream and yell and freak out just to make it even worse <laughs> the whole time, right? No. Good luck, Dad. Hey Dad, how's it going? Well, I got the old valve pulled out. The new one's currently in. And uh, you know, the only thing that really matters is when we actually test it. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I put it in right. I don't know if the part works properly. I don't know, I don't know, but I just want this thing to quit leaking crap. There's only one way to find out and that's by using the toilet. <laughs> Well, then I'm gonna be the only one that goes, so I only have to deal with my own crap. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but this whole live in an RV thing was my idea. <laughs> and when Josh agreed upon this, he didn't understand all of these awesome things that he was gonna get to be able to do. Number one, he drives the RV everywhere because I'm terrified. Number two, he does all the setup and take down, which includes hooking up the sewer tank and the water and the electricity all the time and and fixing things because in an RV something breaks like every single day they have to repair but he's getting really smart and really good at fixing things so <laughs> I do this because of love oh no reason but love that's right but if you guys are earlier Roswell is out here helping Josh and like those are like the things in life that are all worth it seeing Roswell out here learning how to do these things with his dad and he, this is all the kids all the amazing life lessons that we learn while living in the RV like where does the stuff that goes down the toilet go? <laughs> Josh knows all about that one. I grew up on a turkey farm. <laughs> I had to shovel turkeys poop all the time. Oh you are a professional at this then. Well I'm a professional at something. Okay all better. Thanks daddy. You're the best. You're welcome. No more pooping in the RV kids. <laughs> Okay guys, we did an official leak test. I should have showed you guys, but, but everything worked like, great. Because dad did a great job and it's fixed. Yep, and that's right. My sister gave me a great cat too. Let's that's do right. It. You it. Just, do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Roswell, what did you get? I got a tie. <laughs> Ooh, 3D. Now quite tell us how you did it. So if you want, if you want your own tattoo, then all you got it, Big tattoo, especially. Um, if you want one, then you, all you have to do is get a cup of water and pencils, and then all you have to do is dip the pencils. What kind of pencils? Um, colored pencils, because you want color. And then you dip it into the just the tip into the water, and then it, I don't know, it just works. <laughs> and it makes it into a marker. Yeah. Makes it all liquidy. Yep. Okay, now the Dykes fam is hungry. Fortunately, I didn't get poop sprayed in my face. And I have an appetite right now, and we're all hungry for some lunch. Oh, yeah. And we are on the most gorgeous walk to the restaurant. Right That's right. Now. 
So we're headed to a restaurant that supposedly has some good seafood bites. Yeah. Oh, you can eat girl. girl. <laughs> I know you guys are jealous, but this is lunch. Fish, shrimp, and chips. Fish tacos. Um, look at all of that fish. That looks amazing. Oh, we ate that chips and queso. Rosie, what'd you get? I got queso. You got a quesadilla? Yeah. <laughs> I got blackened mahi-mahi and fries. I got fish and chips. Fish and chips. And Koi, she got chicken of the sea. <laughs> Of course, Nikoi, she's not a big seafood lover. <laughs> but I think everybody's gonna get filled. I mean, I like right, shrimp. Mom? I like oh, salmon. yeah, time to dig in. You like what? I like shrimp and salmon. Does those count? <laughs> and tuna fish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, Dykes kids. Now we are walking through the jungle. But also the beach. And access. <laughs> You're right. It's the jungle access to where, William? The beach with shark teeth. Oh, what are we going to try to find on the beach? Shark teeth. Shark teeth. Shark okay. teeth. Ooh la la. Let's go, guys. Here we go. I know. This is actually a beach where sea turtles lay their eggs from May to October. But there isn't any today.
What are we building over here? A human castle. One big enough for a human? <laughs> Looks like you dug a turtle hole. Thanks kids, show me what awesome treasures you found at the beach today. William, dude guys, look at this awesome it's conch cool. shell. A I hole. found that. Look how pretty that but, is. That's but cool. We didn't find any and these two huge. <laughs> I don't know, Tate, I don't know if you can tell how big these are. They're like gigantic. Like look at Tate's face. That is a huge clamshell. Yeah. Wow. All of you people that like clams, this is the clam thing. <laughs> Holy cow, Nikoi, that thing's as big as your face. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. But we didn't find any shark teeth. Oh, we wanted to find some black fossilized shark teeth, didn't we? But we did. This is the one that I found. It actually got broken. It actually has the prettiest coloring to it. Can you guys see that? It almost looks like someone spilled oil on it. It is so pretty. Look at those colors. But this is our shell collection from today. Should we go look for some more treasures tomorrow? Yep. Tonight we're having a fire and Tayden is making the fire tonight. Yep, first time, right? Yeah. First time. Make the fire? Mm, kind of. <laughs> well, today's the perfect day to learn. Hey Tayden, what, what style of fire have you decided on? So we are going to do the teepee style today. Teepee, so as you can see, he's sort of making, well. Well, first we got our kindling in the bottom. Yep. Kindling. We put on all this dry kindling, I guess in the bottom so it will burn faster. I think we should put this one right over. Okay, what do you guys think? Does that look like a teepee? No. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like exactly a teepee. Okay, so Tayden, the point of the teepee is that there's gotta be in the center a place for lots of air to be in the inside of the teepee, like the center, so that it gets lots Back of glass. air because Let's what see. feeds a fire? Air. Oxygen. Oxygen, yeah, it's gotta be able to get oxygen. So if you're gonna do a teepee, you gotta make sure that there's enough room for that air to get up underneath because that's what's gonna get your fire really blazing. Oh, you're losing it, you're losing it. Yeah, it's kinda tricky. I don't know, that so, actually looks pretty good. Oh, wait, like this. Cause look, now there's tons of air. Can you see that little? Pretty good. And we got our s'more stuff. We have graham crackers, we have Reese's. We love to put Reese's in our, our marshmallows. And then we have Hershey's and we have Marshmallows. Puffed marshmallows. Wait, are you excited? Yeah. Really excited? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited Woo. to put these inside marshmallows. I'm so excited. We got our TP made here. Now Tayden's had to figure out if he knows how to use a lighter. <laughs> I'm not to lose a lighter. <laughs> what? You better not know how to use a lighter. <laughs> these gloves are like so big. Okay, how do I do it? I'm get it. Come on, Tay, you can do it. <laughs> that lighter's tough, huh? It's super windy, too. It is super windy, that's why it's hard. Here we go. Let there be light! Okay, let's see if our kindling's dry enough to catch. It's too windy. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. The fire's getting bigger, I think. It just rained here last night, so unfortunately everything here is kind of wet. But Tayden, hey. Fire's burning, buddy. And a fire wouldn't be a fire without s'mores! <laughs> okay, we have a gorgeous fire going, and it has nothing to do with Dad. He did not help us, <laughs> not even a tiny So I come out bit. here and they're like, we can't get the fire going. I'm like, <laughs> I grabbed a wad of paper towels, stuck it in there, lit them on fire, and voila. <laughs> You need, sometimes you need an Eagle Scout, guys. <laughs> yeah! Tayden, Tayden, I hope that someday you're as good of a fire starter as your dad. I will. <laughs> I promise. I used a little bit of, and that helped. That did help. Oh my gosh. A little bit of. It's a little wet here, though. It was raining yesterday, so. This, everything's humid, too. Hot dogs and s'more time! Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog! One of our friends suggested that we try this cheer wine drink. I no. hope it's not wine. You hope it's not wine? Guys, <laughs> it's it's red, it's not brown, and it literally just tastes like someone made Coca-Cola and rebranded it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me taste it. Like, like either Pepsi or Coke. They just like 
They're like, hey, let's turn it red and call it cheer wine. That's Does it literally. taste like Coke? It just tastes like Coke or Pepsi. Look, it's just red. It has red. no special taste. Plain red. Just literally oh, red. Look, tastes like a ripoff red. of Coke. <laughs> red Coke. Tell me what you think about it, Bubba. It's really good. You like that? Yeah. Does it taste cherry full? Yeah. Like cherry because it's red? It tastes like cherry. It tastes, it tastes like, like cherry Coke. cherry, Pepsi, or just plain Coke. It tastes like Coke with Pepsi syrup in it. I mean, <laughs> cherry syrup in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just still chilling by this fire. Oh, the fire's still going, Christina. <laughs> good job, Dad. Yeah. You got some hot dogs going on. Yeah. I have my marshmallow blaster. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, whittled William a roasting stick. Yep, it's wood. He's It's wood. It's wood. He whittled it out of wood, not metal. Nikoi, what do you think about the cheer wine? It just tastes like Coke or cherry Pepsi. Hey guys, don't look behind you, but there's an alligator right there. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Fireball! Oh my gosh, it's alligator. <laughs> Dang it, you blew it out! Okay, Roswell, you try the next time. William, Daddy, William. I think it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> he thinks it's Dr. Pepper. Does it taste yummy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It really smells a lot like cherry, but it doesn't really taste a lot like cherry. No, it's just what cold. What else does it taste like? Yeah, it's like just cola-y. It's blacker than black. It's you what? Blacker than black. <laughs> That's how you like your melons? <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat it black. <laughs> William just finished his hot dog. Let's take a look it at it. Burnt. It got burnt! <laughs> it got burnt! <laughs> Bro, that's a crispy dog. Yes! <laughs> hey, Bubba, try a bite. <laughs> bite on the end. He's like, right on the end. Bite the end. Keep going. Is it hot? Oh, it's steaming. How's it taste? Burnt or good? It's normal. It's normal. It tastes normal? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, huh? Okay. It tastes like a little bit like ash. It tastes a little bit like ash. <laughs> like your marshmallows. The perfect s'more. Look at that. Golden brown. A little crisp on the edges. I did burn it because I, I like a little burnt to it. But I like it cooked all the way to the middle. Oh yeah, yum yum yum. The kids are out here. I got one golden cat, cock cat, and one black cat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't touch the top of the stick, bro. Did you burn yourself? No. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs>